Hi there, today we will use Apple Configurator 2 to enroll uh, the device into Apple Business Manager or Apple School Manager. Apple Configurator 2 is work if you have an iPad, iPhone, iPod, or Apple TV. So we can use any of those devices. Uh, the requirement is has to have iOS 11 or up. And for the Mac OS, you have to, have to be running Catalina 10.15.2. Point six or higher. So to start, we need to go to the App Store and search for Apple Configurator 2, and then we you want to download it. Now, when you Apple um, here, of course, we don't have any devices connected yet. Uh, so I will connect. I will test it with iPod, but of course, any devices will be the same thing. So first, we will configure the organization. Uh, second, we will create a Wi-Fi profile. Those two things you will need to for a manual enrollment. So <clears throat> to create the organization first, uh, we go all the way to the top left corner. Where does it say Apple Configurator 2? We go down to Preferences. Then under the organization, you want to click on the plus sign. Then here you continue. Now in here, the Apple ID, this is, it will be your Apple ID for Apple School Manager or Apple Business Manager as an administrator. So you enter it in here, uh, we say it, and you will generate uh, a new supervision identity. Okay, it's gonna ask you for the password for your Mac. Oops. Let's see what's happening. Okay, now you will see in here is supposed to show you the name, the Apple ID, the one you use to sign into Apple Business Manager or School Manager, and all the information is will be pulled up from uh, Apple uh, Business Manager. So this is it for the organization. Now we can close this one. Uh, the second thing, we have to create a Wi-Fi profile. So we go to File on the top left, then a new profile. Now in here, uh, so the only thing you need to configure is the Wi-Fi. We hit Configure. In here, you need to type the SSID. And this is, is, um, it's a case sensitive. And then you enter what is the security and the password for your Wi-Fi. <clears throat> okay. And then we go all the way to the top to file again and we just save it. When you save it, the uh, best way to name it as a Wi-Fi, something simple to remember. And uh, then we can close the profile. Now, it's we plug in the now for as you see in here we will see the hello screen uh, if you have the iphone or ipad is connected you want to be sure find my ipad or find my iphone is turned off uh, the best way to sign out completely from uh, from icloud and restore the device um, now, if the other way, the alternative way, if you, if we said you have just one or two devices and you do not need to uh, create a Wi-Fi profile, you can go through the setup in here. Uh, hello language, then connect it to the Wi-Fi. You do not need to finish all the way uh, to the setup. As long the device is connected to your Wi-Fi, then you'll be good. Now, in here, um, anytime, if you see the device we have all those options if you see them grayed out that's been we we don't have the devices selected so we need to select it now you see them so we hit a prepare in here you have to check add it to apple school manager and you want to be sure to uncheck activate and complete the enrollment this is going to happen after you enroll it in your mdm so this is the most thing. <clears throat> then you hit continue. Uh, for the a new server, um, it's 
for us, we will enroll it into Apple Business Manager. Then you can use Apple Business Manager to assign it to your MDM. So we do not need to worry about the server. We can just a new server and name it any name you want, test or anything. Now it's going to try to find the MDM. We don't have an MDM, so we don't need to worry about this one. And then we hit next again. Here it will show you the organization. Then you will see next instead of a prepare. And then the next screen you will see a browse where you can browse to the Wi-Fi profile, the one we just created. And then you can hit a prepare. Now it's a preparing the iPad. So this way you will make the device uh, supervised and you enroll it into Apple Business Manager or School Manager. Now uh, things to navigate is through Apple Configurator too. If you double click on the, on the device, on the right hand side this will show you what model, the capacity, the serial number, all the information about the device. So sometimes it's be much easier to copy the serial number from here then you go to Apple Business Manager or School Manager, search for the device. Then when you find it, you can assign it to your MDM, Mobile Device Manager. Sometimes you could get um, an error message about uh, iCloud domain. That means is something wrong with the Wi-Fi. It's either Wi-Fi issue, you enter the SSID wrong or wrong password. That's why sometimes it's be best to connect the device to the Wi-Fi first to be sure it's connected and do the prepare. If you have a firewall within your uh, network, you can uh, try hotspot. Uh, that's a uh, will solve the issue. But this is all what you need to enroll the device to, into Apple Business Manager or School Manager. Manager. Now, what other things you can do with Apple Configurator 2, you can restore the device to factory setting. So if we said we hit back in here, you go to Actions, and you go to Restore. This Restore, that means it will, it will wipe the device to factory settings. If you go down to Advanced, you can reset uh, all content test setting. So revive device, this is just for uh, Max to revive them, not to enroll them. So those uh, the information, the one you need to enroll a device. If you have any question, please leave it in the comment below. Um, if you feel this uh, video is helpful, please give it a like uh, and subscribe. Thank you and have a good day. Bye-bye.